this technology is projected to be bad. Uh, it's, po uh, it's poisonous. It's, uh, it's uh, a lot of evil stuff about this technology. But really, if you look into it, you look into the information in the, in the science, there's nothing really bad about it. And how come it's being prevented to be passed on to these people that, they, that might need it? And um, it, it's life for them. So that's kind of what, what we're doing in, in the island. And that's where the passion is coming from. Because we can do something, and we need to do something. In agriculture, it's not just about um, uh, knowing the technology or knowing when to plant, what to plant. You have to understand, you, you have the farmers. You have to understand they have a background, they have, they have, a, they have perspective, they have experience, they have, uh, they have been uh, made to believe a lot of times and they're frustrated in believing. So you have to be there. You cannot just bring them to a training or a lecture and then expect that uh, they would understand and they would follow you because they are coming also from, from uh, their, their own personal experiences. That's why my approach has never been, okay, hey farmers, this is what you need to do, plant this, biotech, et cetera, et cetera. It's not a um, one-way prescript prescriptive approach. It's always, okay, a dialogue. And sometimes the dialogue happens without even talking. You just need to be there. You just need to spend time there. And I know it's long. It's a long process. And, but they need that. If we really want to help somebody, we need to understand how we can help them. Uh, but not everything they're asking is helpful also as, as well. So it's a process. It's, it's a long process.